Welcome to today's tutorial from the TwinSafe department. Today we have a very interesting topic. We take a look at our backup and restore mode to configure and use it in connection with an AX8000. My name is Martin Fruchtel from the Product Management Safety. After a few words concerning our prerequisites, for example, and our demo system, I give you a few hints about our approach used by the backup and restore mode. And after the live demonstration, uh, I'll give you a short outlook of the following tutorials. And of course, we finish with a Q&A about the backup and restore mode. The goal of our today's tutorial is to configure and use the backup and restore mode with the AX8000. So in detail, we have a EL6910 and an AX8000, and both have a safety project, and we want to configure the backup and restore mode so that we can change the EL6910 and or the AX8000, uh, and the safety project is restored by our backup and restore mode without anybody using Twinker 3. As prerequisites, uh, we need a Twinker 3 version greater or equal to 4024.11, a TE9000 version greater or equal to 1211. We need a TwinSafe firmware on the AX8000 greater or equal to 03. We need an AX8000 firmware greater or equal to 0104 with the default module ID active. And for today's tutorial, we also need our TwinCare 3 EL6910 backup restore library, which can be found on our website at the EL6910. Uh, go to software and tools and you get the current version 3.3.0.2. The start of our tutorial is a complete TwinCare 3 solution with a standard PLC project. We have an ER6910 project talking to an existing AX8000 project. In today's tutorial, we use our AX8000 project from our SLP tutorial. As hardware, we are using our CX for Ethercat and standard PLC. We have an ER6910 as our master twin safe logic we have a el1918 connected to a light barrier and of course we have an ax8000 in the x2xx in the safe motion version and the required functionality today is we want to configure backup and restore for the el6910 and the ax8000 and we want to control this functionality through our plc code and we want to restore the safety project and the user management for the AX8000. And we want to restore the project of the EL6910. Before we take a look at the backup and restore in connection to the AX8000, we take a look at the classic solution. We have a EL6910 safety project, a centralized safety project, and that EL6910 is talking to three components in this picture and the basic idea behind the backup and restore mode is that you can configure uh, for the backup and restore mode that the project crc is distributed to slaves so at the startup of the safe communication the safety project crc of the el6910 is distributed to the yellow components and you can also configure to which components it should be distributed and how many components should uh, answer correctly. Because the basic idea is the safety project CRC is distributed and then you can uh, save a backup of your safety project. And when you are in restore mode, so you plug in a new EL6910, for example, and you download the safety project via our restore mode, then the EL6910 starts up and at startup, it uh, asks for the safety project CRC of the yellow components. 
And if they answer correctly, the EL6910 safety project can uh, start as if the EL6910 has never been changed. If you look at today's tutorial solution, we still have a centralized EL6910 safety project, but the EL6910 is talking to an AX8000, and that AX8000 has its own safety project and its own safety project CRC. So in this case, we have a logic to logic connection. And for the backup and restore mode shown before, the EL6910 and the AX8000 must distribute their project CRC. So we have a dependence of the safety project and we need to configure the backup and restore mode for this dependence. But this can be done very easily within Twinkle 3, what we show you now. As start of the tutorial, we have a Twinkle 3 solution where we also have a standard PLC. And there we created a program for the backup and restore mode with a little state machine. And we have already imported our Twinkle 3 EL6910 backup and restore library in the version 3.3.0.2. But before we show the usage of the library, we have to configure our safety project. So in the first step, we also want to restore the user management. So we create a new user for the X8000 via the target system configuration and user administration we get the current list of users and create a new user this warning only tells you that uh, if you do user management the safe communication will break down now we have to log in for the user management via serial number and password we put in our username test user for the new user we want to restore. We create the password. And in the next step, we configure the user rights. Our user has every right except the download of the project data in restore mode. So now we put in the user rights and we can finish the user administration. And now we can uh, start the configuration of the user management. So again, we go to our target system property page of the AX8000. We go to the tab backup and restore. Here we activate the backup and restore. And now we configure the dependence between the EL6910 and the AX8000. In our case, the AX8000 is in the slave. So we want to store the master project CRC in the slave. And we want to read the project CRC from our master. And we also want to restore the user administration. That was all for the AX8000. On the other side, the EL6910, we go to the target system and backup and restore properties. We activate the backup and restore. For the EL6910, it's a little bit different because we have two connections, the EL1918 and the connection to the AX8000. And in this case, we want to store our project CRC in the slave. And we want to uh, store the slave project CRC in the master. So I want to save the project CRC of my slave. And here below, we can configure how many yellow terminals should answer right. So here we say we want to restore if both connections are answering with the correct CRC. But I can also configure that only one has to answer correctly. That was basically all the configuration. So we go to our multi-download because the multi-download also displays the dependencies between our safety projects. So if I increase the size of the wizard, we can see that each project is dependent on the other project and the wizard 
checks those dependencies, but I can also ignore those dependencies via the checkbox below. So basically I can also download only one project, but then I don't have a consistent uh, configuration. So we take both projects. We put in our username and password. And verify our serial numbers and start the download. When the download is finished, I also get an overview uh, of the dependencies when the backup and restore mode is active, and I verify the CRCs and activate both safety projects. In the result view, I also see that the backup and restore settings were downloaded correctly. So both projects are downloaded and active. So before we go to the usage of the Twinkle 3 backup and restore library, we uh, check if the download worked and both safety projects are running. So we go to the process image of the EL16910 and see that the two connections to the EL1918 and the AX8000 is running as expected. So to the usage of the Twinker 3 library, as mentioned before, we have a standard PLC project. So we go to the part for the backup and restore. We implemented a little state machine for the handling of the backup and restore mode. So before we can do the restore, we have a case for the backup. So we manually start our trigger for the backup. So if the call is finished, we have both the EL1610 and the AX8000 backup on our hard drive. And now we want to uh, test our restore mode. So we um, go to the process image again to check, okay, both projects are still running. And now we are deleting the first project. So in the first case, we are deleting the EL1610 project. We put in our username and password. and start the deletion process. We delete everything from the terminal and while the process image, we see that the EL1610 is now uh, talking no more with the yellow components. So now we can go to our PLC part and via our implemented trigger, we can start the restore for the EL1610. Now the corresponding function block is called and now the restore is finished and we go back to the process image of the EL16910 and see that the EL16910 is talking again to the EL1918 and the AX8000. Next step, we do the same thing for the AX8000. So firstly, we delete the safety project. We put in the username and our password. And after deleting the complete project, we see in the process image that the connection to the AX8000 is not running anymore. For the AX8000, we also want to restore the user administration. So we go to the target system property page, user administration, and we delete our test user. Via the serial number and the password. And now we go back again to our PLC project. And within the PLC project, we start the restore for the AX8000. 
the restore for the AX8000 takes a little bit longer than the ES6910, but after the download is finished, we see in the process image of the ES6910 that both connections are running again. And when we go to the target system property page and the user administration, we see that also our test user was successfully restored. That was basically the live demonstration within Twinker 3. If you use the Twinker 3 EL6910 backup and restore library, or if you import the library to your Twinker 3 solution, you have uh, three function blocks available. You have one function block uh, to save the backup of the safety project. So via the configuration of the IMS NetID and the port, you can save the backup to a file name. So on the hard drive, your backup is stored. You have a second function block uh, to delete the safety project from the target system. And the third function block is to restore the project. So again, you have the IMS NetID and port. You have to configure a buffer address and a buffer size and the file name. And then you can trigger the restore of the safety project to the target system. All the function blocks can be used for the EL6910 or the AX1000 or any other logic integrated TwinSafe component, of course. That was all basically for today's tutorial. As a short outlook in the next tutorial next week, we will uh, regard how you can use an N.2.2 uh, safety encoder with the TwinSafe motion wizard. I want to thank you a lot for your attention. That was all for today. I hope we see again next week to the next tutorial or we hear us again in the next tutorial, of course. Thank you.